we've got Royal Canoe, and it's all about Pop Nui. And what is with you guys sitting down? I understand you, Brendan, because you're like seven feet tall. But Derek, young I'm, guy. I'm six and a half feet tall, so. Okay. All right. All right. But now the veterans are standing. Yeah, Bucky and vets. Matt. Yes. Well, Royal Canoe. Okay. Explain what Royal Canoe is involved in for New Music Festival. Um, well, we are going to be playing on the final night, February second, and we're going to be performing Beck's Song Reader and. That's the uh, sheet music only version of 20 songs that he released recently. And so we've kind of spent the last month and a half kind of, is it, has it been a month and a half? It feels like a long time. Wow. Just getting ready and determining how we're going to perform the songs. And so this last week is just practicing. So yesterday was like a 12 hour session. That's we're crazy, mm -hmm. crazy. I mean, like Beck's music, uh, like what was it like for you, Bucky? Well, it, I think there was less to go on than we had anticipated. Pretty much what he provided was um, piano accompaniment, sometimes some guitar chords and vocal melody and lyrics. And so there was a lot of room for us to imagine or create, use our own sound to shape how the songs would come across. So that was extra work, but I think it also made it more rewarding in the end because we could kind of put our own stamp on the songs. And I think we all, we all kind of thought it would have been more like Midnight Vultures Beck and it was it was definitely more like folky Beck mm -hmm. and he's I think the whole idea was to try to for him at least to try to continue this tradition of you know the 30s or 40s when the way that you would you would communicate music to other people was with sheet music so you know a whole I, I think I read a stat that there were like 40 million copies of this one song in America or something obscene where and it was just in the sheet music form and that's how people learnt music and that's what you know if you wanted to hear a song someone had to play it for you. It's really an honor to be a part of this festival. Um, it's huge for us to be, I mean, to be on a bill with, uh, you know, a guy like Steve Reich or Evelyn Glennie, like some of uh, the the world's leading musicians. Um, and and it's really exciting to be to be pushing our own boundaries, doing something doing something different like this, taking someone else's music and and uh, I don't know, kind of kind of inventing in many ways because a lot of these songs don't have. Uh, don't have for Derek and I are, are rhythm players. They don't have any parts written for, for us. So we're just kind of going from. You're making from it nothing. up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's been a pretty fun creative process, and I think in many ways it probably has also helped with. It will help in the future, just with our own songwriting, because we generally, we tend to write pretty ambitious music, and uh, and we're definitely continuing to do that with this project. So. And it's just a fun way to open up uh, new opportunities of creativity and stuff. So it's, oh, it's, it's been very great. cool. Yeah, you know what? Congratulations, Matt. And Thank you. you know what? Before we wrap things up, what do you hope young musicians here in this community get out of a show like this? Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I think anytime I've ever watched a show, I think that you know you're you're always you know there's you have aspirations to play music in front of people. I'll always have, and I think that. Like a show like this, where we get to, you know, be a part of these people that we've kind of looked up to our whole lives, is pretty amazing. And so, I don't know. I hope that we get a, a really awesome crowd who comes out. And if it's if it's people who are more going to be prone to, to the new music festival, who wouldn't normally come to a Royal Canoe show, I think that's great for us because we have a you know a crowd here in the city that's really supportive, and we're just looking for any opportunity to play to new people. Wow, well, okay. Royal Canoe, go out and see them. They close off the New Music Festival. For the complete lineup, go to the website, and that's newmusicfestival.ca. For Backstage, I'm Tracy Koga.